Are you looking for the best panini presses? In this video, we will look at some of the 6 best panini presses on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Panini Press by Cuisinart. The Cuisinart is a well-priced, reliable, do-it-all panini press. It can, of course, act as a sandwich smasher, applying pressure from the top and emanating heat from both sides. Then, if you want to turn it into one big grill or flat top, you simply press a button on the side that fully releases the hinge. It has removable non-stick cooking plates, allowing you to choose from grooved or flat depending on what you're cooking. Either way, this makes them easy to clean. That, I think, is the big benefit of this press, says Kathy Straz, author of the blog Panini Happy. It gives you more flexibility and options than just a press. And, she says, it has many applications that can make your life easier, such as grilling meats and vegetables or crisping up quesadillas, that don't require flipping because you get heat from the top and bottom. Writer and cookbook author Patricia Wells uses the Cuisinart for indoor grilling and making toast. I have given away all my toasters, she says. I always felt that toasters just dried out the bread, but the panini press allows it to maintain its moisture. I also love the grill marks. Max Blatchman Gentile, director of culinary operations at Tartine, used a slightly higher-end version to test a lot of the menu items they sell at the cafe and even put it to use in the shop for a while, it eventually wore down churning out 40-plus sandwiches a day, but that shouldn't be a concern at home. The major difference between this one and the cheaper model above is how exact the temperature gets. This one lets you select the specific degree you want each plate to reach, while the other has only low, medium, high, and warm settings for the panini function and comes with degrees in intervals of 50 for the open grill. There are cheaper options, but this one will last a really long time, Blatchman Gentile says. Let's say you want to make four grilled cheeses for your family. You'll get a consistent result, instead of the first two looking good and the next two not. Some presses have hot spots, but the heat is generally very even over all the plates, as well. At Number 2. Lagos Tina Panini Pan with Cast Iron Press Though Sabino Curcio uses electric panini presses at his Brooklyn restaurant Anthony and & Amp, Sun Panini Shop, he thinks a stovetop press is totally efficient for home use. Unsurprisingly, that also means it's the cheapest option on this list. An even more important consideration than price is the fact that this is an altogether different style, one that uses a stovetop burner instead of electric power. As the name suggests, it is made of cast iron, a material that can maintain a non-stick-like surface so long as it's cared for, truly, cast iron tools will last you forever and then some, but isn't quite as non-stick as the previous options. As I've written before, cast iron gets particularly hot, which means you have to be careful as you're grilling. But it also gives you a lot of control, as your heat source is your stovetop. This gets the job done, Curcio says. Put a little butter, a little olive oil, a few minutes on the pan on each side, and you got a panini. At Number 3. George Foreman Removable Plate Grill. George Foreman is a household name when it comes to electric grills, and unsurprisingly, its panini press is just as beloved, with more than 24,000 reviews on Amazon and a 4.6 star rating. It's a simple machine, when you plug it in, one light turns on to let you know it's preheating, when it's done preheating, another light indicates it's ready to go. Even though it doesn't have controllable temperature or any presets, there are a couple of features that make this very affordable appliance a standout among others in its price range. For one, it has removable non-stick plates, just like the Cuisinart. For another, it comes angled slightly downward, the front feet shorter than the back, with a drip tray to catch any juices or fats that escape from your food. These two assets make for particularly easy cleanup. As one customer put it, this machine is back to basics but kick-ass nonetheless. At Number 4. Lodge Preseason Cast Iron Grill Press. For an even more compact non-electric option, Paige Lapari, the owner of Arcastratus Books Plus Foods in Brooklyn, recommends a grill press that's what she uses at her shop to turn out sandwiches day in and day out. She used to have a wearing, the professional grade press below, but she switched over to an Avanco flat top and the lodge presses when she redid the kitchen. 
They're extremely inexpensive and very high quality, she says, echoing the sentiment many professionals feel about the company's famous cast iron skillet. To use the press, you can use any pan, lay down your sandwich, place the tool on top, then flip it and do the same thing on the other side. They have a nice weight to them, she says, heavy enough to press down fully and evenly but still easy to wield. She also notes that this particular size is perfect for most sandwiches, fully covering the bread and ensuring a uniform color. In another strategist story on the best gifts for chefs, recipe developer and content creator Sola L. Whaley recommends this similar, albeit more expensive, fish weight. She says it has a, a thick body that retains and transfers heat, perfect for making grilled cheese. At number 5. Breville the Sear and Amp, Press Grill. This Breville, while providing functionality similar to the Cuisinart's, is overall more powerful and exacting, and accordingly will cost you more. While the Cuisinart does have some temperature control, when in panini mode, it only lets you pick from low, medium, or high heat. This one, on the other hand, allows you to control the precise degrees of each plate at any given time and has slightly more wattage, which means it gets hotter faster. It also has predetermined settings for panini, burger, and sear, convenient if you want to just click one button and let it go. And unlike any of the others on the list, it has waffle inserts, too. You have to buy those separately, says food writer and editor Elise Whitney. But this does so much, it allowed me to get rid of a lot of bulk in my kitchen. Whitney's favorite way to employ it is all the way open. I have used this for Korean barbecue at home, she says, though usually outside, since the sugar in marinades tends to get smoky. At number 6. Wearing large Italian-style panini grill. If you want to go hard at home, this wearing is a professional-grade grill, quite similar to the one head chef Claire Malfitano uses at Murray's Cheese Bar in York. There, the presses are even more intense and require special plugs, but wearing makes models for home use, too, including this one, and a nearly identical model with grooved plates. Like the press above, it's made from cast iron. It's not cheap by any means, but if for whatever reason you want to do most of your cooking on a panini press, say, if you're remodeling or living with particularly inefficient rental kitchen appliances, it'd be the one to choose. It's so consistent in terms of heat, Malfitano says. It's intuitive to use. Before we open for the day, we do prep work on it that isn't making sandwiches like charring meatballs or onions or carrots. Sometimes we use it to temper things we don't need to fully melt, like cream cheese or butter. You can put it on a low setting and put those on there. We cook chicken on it. Occasionally, we cook eggs on it. It stays open if you need it to, so it can be hands-free. Before switching cooking methods at Archistratus, Lapari was also a fan of how extremely versatile it was, beyond the really crispy panini sandwiches it turned out. Vegetables on it got almost barbecue-like with a charred flavor, she says. We had people do pop-ups, and they would employ it in other ways too, like one time, someone used it to make a cheese crisp. 